Cheers. Mm. Scotch. This is Gentlemen of the World. We're a club that gets together once a month, and uh, we blind taste scotch. How it works is one person in the scotch will, um, one person in the club will bring a scotch. I'm already several scotches deep, apparently. And uh, the rest of us will try it without knowing what it is. Um, we'll look at it, we'll smell it, we'll taste it, and we will judge the shit out of it. So going around the room, I'm Justin. I'm Dave. I'm Evan H. I'm Evan C. Andrew. So just picking up the glass and just judging the color, what do we see, guys? It's a little bit lighter. Very light. Yeah, straw. Straw. Straw, yeah. Yeah. Like a light honey. Mm-hmm. Kind of swirling it in the glass. Doesn't... Not much legs. Yeah, I'm going to use your word from, from the last episode. It doesn't appear to be too viscous. Yes. It looks like apple juice to me. A little, yeah. a little thin. On the Coca-Cola scale, it's <laughs> <laughs> six parts water, one part Coke. It's very diluted. This yeah. is like the Coke that you give to like a five-year-old. Have you guys a smelled it? a lot of water yet? in it. Have you no. guys smelled it? No. I smelled it. And what'd you smell? Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> well, it smells like, it smells like, oh, <laughs> oh, it smells like my childhood. It does. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That smells like, um. Uh, it burns to smell. It smells like uh, Manischewitz, which is like a, yeah. a sweet Jewish wine. Mm. It does really? not smell good. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, it smells kind of like apple cider. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. It, yeah. It's gone bad a yeah. little bit. <laughs> You're <brought in> apple <laughs> cider yeah. from like 2004. <laughs> yeah. Now I feel like I do want to be contrarian and just say, no, there's something there. You guys are missing it, but go for it, Andrew. Yeah, not be sure. contrarian. I'm not sure what yeah. it is. <laughs> what contrarian about. Take your time. Yeah. So, I dare yeah. you to be contrarian. <laughs> alcohol? Uh, I'm smelling alcohol. Yeah. Rubbing alcohol. Not in a, yeah. Mm, yeah. Not in a good way. But I mean, there I mean, is. If I had to say, mm-hmm. yeah, I, w- I would say a little bit of apple, like some light honey. Now the apple's going away and the alcohol's coming. (laughs) (laughs) The alcohol's angry. Singes the nostrils. Yeah. To me, it smells like somebody poured a crap load of apple juice in a rubbing alcohol bottle and like shook it up because you get like, it's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of sweet on the nose, but just like that bite when you smell rubbing alcohol that just like stings the hairs inside your nose. Yeah. That's what I'm, that's what's happening. I feel like the more I smell it, the more apple juice I get. Yeah, but then uh, to agree with Evan H there, it's like you smell it and then you get more apple juice and then you get more alcohol too. It just like <laughs> keeps, they're fighting each yeah. other. Who will win? Yeah. That battle. The, yeah, an yeah. age old battle. <laughs> yeah. They've been fighting for millennia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm searching for something else, but. Yeah. I'm going to just dive in and try it because I don't want to smell it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just want to get this over with. (laughs) Whoever it is is not going to sponsor us. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Yeah. The taste, it tastes like it smells. Yes. (laughs) Strong note. I think it tastes worse than it smells. It is really bad. Like, I'm not going to. It is like a diluted. This is a two. Yeah, so remember what I was saying? You're already in the last episode. Yeah, is, where it's like, there, we've had some bad scotches. It's been a while. This is, this is a bad scotch. Yeah, yeah. straight up. We, we can't always drink good scotches, guys. Why we, not? I bought this for a specific <laughs> reason, too. This is the scotch that keeps you humble. Yeah, it tastes like somebody mixed like a bottle of scotch that wasn't that good and like a bottle of champagne that had gone bad. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Hmm. Mm. It's it, yeah, it's like young scotch aged in like Mott's apple juice barrels. <laughs> yeah, like, old like five years ago New Year's Eve <laughs> apple champagne <laughs> Martinelli's oh, Martinelli's yeah, Martinelli's. It's yeah. aged in Martinelli's <laughs> yeah. barrels. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's Martinelli's gone flat and fermented. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The uh, yeah, I'm just trying. I'm Did trying you find to a do bottle of Martinelli's justice. in the Scotch is, aisle? Yeah. It's like, yeah. this is Scottish tricky, Martinelli's. Tricky Evan C. <laughs> so, it's, it's got a lot of heat on the finish. Yeah. I'm just trying to be fair. Yeah, it's not uh, good. Should I not even bother? Yeah, I don't know. We should talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is everybody getting? Let's try you know, to be this serious. Is, this is the kind of thing that I feel like 
this will get like a silver medal at the San Francisco, what it, like yeah, yeah. But what a spirits they, thing because it's like this is the best you know seven year scotch that's been presented. Yeah, and it's just like why why are you why are you rating seven year scotches? This yeah. is, this feels like it's seven or below. Yeah, I mean it feels really young based on the heat. I'm getting like nothing from a cask. It smells better after I added a little bit of water. I added a couple drops of water. Let's see what this does. I mean, it doesn't smell great, but it smells better. <laughs> like, you know how you get that kind of burning sensation? I'm not getting a burning sensation. My mouth just hurts. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just, Really? Yeah. Your mouth I'm is just, pain. ouch, 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 like, What ouch. are you doing to me? That's called regret. Yeah. <laughs> mouth regret. I think I'm already hungover. Well, the water helps. Yeah, the water definitely the water does help. water definitely mellows the heat. Yeah. Makes the nose way worse. <laughs> it smells gross now. Like before it smelled like weird. Now it just smells gross. I want to smell the apple. grossness. Somebody passed me the, uh, the dropper. The water yeah. dropper. Oh, it's less apple, more armpit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> armpit. I was going to try and be kind and say like, barren apple tree. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Andrew, yeah. we're not looking for this sponsorship. Know, this, yeah, yeah, like Evan C said, we're, it's okay. Um, no, the water definitely mellows out the flavor, but then... You know, without the armpit, you got nothing. <laughs> if you don't have armpit, what do you got? <laughs> Serious. What are you left with? Any guesses on region? Any smoke? <laughs> no. I got none. Lowlands. I don't know. Sadlands. <laughs> yeah. Sadlands. Sadlands. <laughs> yes. The Badlands of Wyoming. What's what's the apple region? <laughs> <laughs> it's from the Johnny Appleseed region of Scotland. Yeah, I don't know. Young. Hi- Highland? Really young Highland? Really young, really whacked out Highland. Like it's just a Highland kid that like, you know. <laughs> is experimenting with drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Into heroin. Yeah. yeah, he's got green hair, a couple extra piercings. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can't keep a job. Yeah, <laughs> can't keep a job. Got kicked out of school early. Still working on his art career, but. Yeah. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. His girlfriend believes in him. Uh-huh. <laughs> but that is it. That's it. His father does not believe in him. He has a father? <laughs> yeah, he's probably know. fatherless. <laughs> this is a fatherless scotch. Yes. That's a good way to put it. I wish it was motherless, too. It might be. <laughs> it might be, yeah. Any more region guesses? The Scottish orphanage. <laughs> I don't know. Highland, six year. I don't know what else. Okay. You know, though, I'm proud of you, Andrew, for just squeezing something out. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm proud of you. I've been really struggling to find something nice to say. In. Yeah, young, just... Fatherless region, whatever, where there, wherever there's the least amount of fathers in Scotland. That's the region. It's like the manly version of an apple teeny. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. What would the garnish be? Are you telling me apple teenies are not manly? <laughs> sorry, Ooh, the Scottish oops. version. Of oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry, my Thank bad. You. Thank you. I take it back. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so any more guesses or do we want to go on to our rating I want to know what you would do, like if you were hanging out with buddies and your your really good buddy, like your best man or whatever, says, "Hey, I want you to try this. This is great. I love it." And he gives you this. Well, it's like doesn't doesn't Jim Beam or Jack Daniels have like an apple? Mm, yeah, apple infused whiskey or something. Yeah, like they that. do. Like mm. I know there's a brand does peanut butter whiskey. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, Jack I think, Daniels. I think Jack Daniels has apple. Yeah, like, I think they all like do. Now. Apple scotch. So if someone's like, yeah, I, I finally got into scotch, it's yeah. great. I got that Highland Park Apple <laughs> Reserve. I don't yeah. know, special reserve. But an honest answer to your question, I tend to be honest with people when they yeah. do that to me. It's like, <laughs> sorry, man, this is yeah. this is not good. You know, I would be honest with them and be like, hey, here's here's some other scotches you should try. Honest Evan, listen to this podcast. Tell yeah, your you mm-hmm. Like mm. four into it, they'll you'll we'll rate one that's like tasty notes are yummy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you'd rather have yummy than this is armpit. No. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else? Is Bakersfield still on the table <laughs> for a region? It can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I'm leading <laughs> Bakersfield. So Evan H. Young is this Bakersfield. Like a scotch where they added apples. It's not a flavored scotch. No, I wouldn't <laughs> do that to you. I'm not that bad. This is actually not flavored at all. It's just mm. armpit. It's, the flavor is just added bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> aged in bad armpit. But like I said, there's a reason why I bought it, and I'll explain. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. Plot Story thickens time. on this. Yeah. yeah, I like that on this sketch. I think I'm getting like a pear now. Well, 
Dave, Whoa, Dave, Dave with a random yeah. name. Sorry. <laughs> You're making David. me drink more of it. <laughs> All right, let's pear. investigate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like a Bosque pear or <laughs> what? I don't know. Okay. The poach? Yeah. All, all of a sudden, yeah. this is yeah. a very complex scotch. <laughs> it's, it's, not, yeah. it's, not, it's not a good pear. So it's, it's like just a, 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 pear. a very yeah. like mushy red pear. It's been in the, it's been very bruised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fallen on the ground several times. <laughs> yeah. The rats yeah. have gotten to it. Are we still talking about the Scottish teenager? Or the- <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's eco. Spent some time on the street. Doesn't yeah. Martinelli's make a pear scotch? Like, <laughs> pear scotch. All right, let's rate this. Thing. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah let's, let's get this over with. Let's get through this. Yeah, I want, I want to hear Evan's answer for why he chose this. Okay, Dave, what is your rating? I'm gonna go. It's not enjoyable. Uh, I'm gonna call it a three and a half. Three and a half. Wow, that's actually bigger than I thought. Yeah, Evan H. I see no reason to rate it higher than a one. Okay. Evan C. I'll give it a two. Andrew. <laughs> I feel like I'm usually the, it's like the, the more seven? generous. Seven? Of this. <laughs> yeah. I can't go lower than a seven. 7.8. <laughs> uh, no, I think this merits a two. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I almost I kind of Did you a feel little bad? twinge of pain when I said yeah. that. That's the lowest rating I'm ever given. I, I like, I'll generally oh, rate a little low. I'm a little harsher, but. Yeah. Kind of like this, this scotch. Yeah, that's just my soul, though. Well, maybe, that's maybe that's I my honest. Scotch. That's my honest rating. Yeah, that's Justin. So I'm gonna rate it a two as well, just because it, it is scotch and it was in liquid form, <laughs> and I didn't throw up when I drank it. I was able to take it in. So and we have not gone blind yet. Yeah, I'm not dead yet. So I, I gave it an extra. So point there's for that. there's room to. There's room fall. to grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, yeah, fall. There's, this, there's a little bit of room at the yeah, bottom. If yeah. I end, then please drop my rating, you know, at my funeral. Uh, our overall rating as a club is 2.1 for this. That's mostly thanks to Dave's 3.5, <laughs> which now up. feels like a 10. Yeah. <laughs> just Dave and his pears. David. Yeah. It was that last minute pair <laughs> yeah. that all of a sudden just like, ooh, okay. That's Plus right. 1.5. Still the lowest I've ever rated cinnamon? a scotch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. 3.8. Wait, do I love this scotch? So the reason why I bought it, and Evan kind of alluded to that, where literally looking at the the rack at total wine this scotch had like a higher rating of all of the other scotches that we enjoyed mm-hmm. like this was a 95 versus, versus like the highland parks were 89s mm-hmm. uh on just like, like the little, based on what like the little like, score that they put on the scotch like, like total the total wine, wine score total wine. yeah or so, like whiskey like the, no they something. you know they put those little scores yeah. next to the price point bob from total wine yes. exactly <laughs> <laughs> and rating. so i'm like yeah. And the price point was literally nineteen dollars. So I'm like, oh, I'm like, thank God. I'm like this tastes dude, like it. It's got like a ninety five compared to an eighty nine for a Highland Park. I'm like, all right, Whoa. we have to try this. It's at least worth it. Yeah, taste. it's yeah. worth it's worth throwing a twenty at. Is so. it a single malt? It's a single malt. What is eight that year scotch? from Speyside? Wait, wait, wait before eight you year. pull it eight out, you have to look at the notes. Well, I know you what you're to, thinking of. Let's see if we can remember. We had one where in a similar situation where I think. Taylor, the famous Taylor S. Scotch. Yeah. yeah, I got it because of a similar situation. We all hated it that we made Ryan Ford drink it to like. Oh, if he wanted it? to come back into the club, it's like you you have to drink this and yeah. you have to finish it. Yeah, and like ruined his night. Yeah, <laughs> and he hasn't been back since. Yeah, he hasn't so been back. We got someone to drink so. it. Probably gonna be the same one. Yeah, Glenn it's Kirk. It's Glenn it's, Kirk. It's, it's yeah. Awesome. yeah. Awesome. yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the club, Glenn Kirk. Glenn Kirk made its way back oh, you somehow. Man. Mother. Oh my gosh. That's just I, I bought it to prove a point. Don't read the ratings on the label at Total Wine. I wonder if the distilleries couldn't influence that if it's like, oh, if they pay more That's or serious. like Yeah. Like I guarantee they only sell this at Total Wine. Or if like hmm. yeah, if it's just like Tanya decided, oh, this one's probably like a ninety eight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, it's like wine enthusiast score or whatever they use. But so give us the uh the tasting for, for t- if there are tasting for, notes, honestly, for twenty dollars, sure. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. It's for like the person that's going to spend twenty bucks on a bottle of single malt. Like this is uh, this is fantastic, top, yeah, top notch. Yeah, because yeah, compared to other money. bottles of twenty dollar whiskey, okay, yeah, there's flavors. It's not <laughs> yeah. just rubbing alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> if it's between this and actual Martinelli's, you know. Apples. I would take Martinelli's. 
Yeah, um, I would too. I because this is going to be a terrible hangover. Um, so tough to find tasting notes on this one, but Speyside's got an attractively fresh and grassy, clean aromas, mouth watering, with an intense and delicious barley richness, a bit spicy, and a touch of oak. A nice introduction to Scotch. And no, that is not a nice introduction. Did you say grassy? Because I had a flavor in the back of my tongue that I couldn't place until you said grassy. And And you said pear instead. Well, this was at the beginning. (laughs) The pear I got later after it breathed. Apparently it's out of stock at Total Wine too. Wow. Sold out. Sold out. So just fascinated by this whole whole process that I almost want to pour a little bit more and retaste it after hearing what we should. Give, give it a 2.5. And that's what, <laughs> yeah. This yeah, is why I dare we taste you. it blind. <laughs> because you will go blind after uh, drinking this. Guys. So this is actually the second time we've had Glenn Kirk in this club. So someone, someone needs to drop it off at Ryan Ford's house and just leave it on the side. <laughs> <laughs> if he wants to come back in the club. In all seriousness, we'll, or not. we'll dump it down the drain. Like <laughs> yeah. It's not even worth keeping. No, no, it stays. No. It stays. Then you drink it. The uh, I just love how the labeling... Like you, this is what you would expect from from this bottle. I mean, you all at home listening to this obviously can't see the labeling, but it looks like like a cheap Russian like pop off mm-hmm. bottle of yeah. like vodka or there's something. Plastic? There, there's yeah. no cork, is there? No, no, it's no. Top. no. Yeah, that is a that's, screw. <laughs> that's a tell. This is this is a whiskey you use to cook with. Like, yeah, you add this to like a, a gravy to make it like a spicy gravy. Okay. Would you make a, a cocktail out of this? No. Would you rinse a glass with this? That's an interesting idea. Yeah. Because you'll an get. Appletini. Actually, Appletini. I mean, that's in all honesty. Idea. Yeah, because with a rinse, you do want something that, that leaves a mark. And this certainly would. Huh. All right. Are we adding value? It's, to it's this found a second oh, yeah, Can hello. get sponsored by Glenn Kirk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So geez, no. a yeah. purpose for our terrible <laughs> scotch. Yeah. Glenn Kirk, send us t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't realize he brought it in. We fell for the same trap a few years ago. It's like, oh, it's highly rated. Yeah. No, I knew it was going to be terrible. Yeah. But it's still fun. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Don't fall for the ratings. Yeah. That's, that's no, the seriously, moral don't of read the story. ratings. But thanks for the journey, Evan C. Yeah. Yes. That was fun, nonetheless. I like how it looks like a 40 bottle, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's not even trying to hide like, <laughs> no. what it is. No. No, this is just, this. someone in the 70s thought this was pretty good. Yeah, here I am. And This is my body. Yeah. Like, and that person take it or leave it. hasn't slept in a bed in, you know, 60 years. Yeah. Also, have you ever met a person named Kirk that you've liked? I mean, yeah. Captain Kirk. I mean, do you even like Captain Kirk? Mm. Mostly. Hmm. Kirk Gibson. Kirk Gibson. Okay. Yep. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, okay. All right. 1988 Kirk Gibson, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. What about Glenn? Oh, Glenn from Lost. Exactly. I liked him. Glenn okay. Danzig. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. So some, a couple mm. of good Glens, a couple of good Kirks. But Wait, combined. was Glenn? No, but I'm combined. thinking of, no, no, he was on Lost. Walking, he was Walking on Dead. Walking Dead. Yeah. 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 Oh, Glenn. Glenn. Yeah. Yeah. He was the best. He was. Yeah. I liked him. Not a good Scotch though. But great character. A good he was heart. a great guy, great but he character. wasn't a good scotch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one thing we've learned from this experience is that we're all good enough to discern really bad scotch. Yeah. That's true. Pretty happy about that. That says something. Yeah. yeah cheers to us. Yeah. 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 yeah let's cheers yeah. with something good, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to, we're going to re pour with something better. And <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to dump the rest of this. <laughs> you guys did enlighten me, though. I think I will take that bottle home and. Use it for like a cocktail. Use it as a rinse, like you said. I force you guys to drink it. I don't Oh, you don't owe me any money for that. But using, like using that. Like using it as a rinse or like, you know, sometimes I'll put like uh, absinthe and like an aerosol yeah. spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, in all seriousness, that would be a good spritz like on top of like an appletini. Use, yeah. Like I know that sounds Or, or I'm thinking if you it's possible if you were inclined if you, to have an apple teeny. I'm just saying. If you wanted to. Or a pear teeny. I don't, I don't know if this would be good, but if you were trying to, uh, I think the cooking term is what? Flambe. 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 You cooked it, cooked down some, some berries in that. Yeah. Or even like an apple, apple do chutney you do or that sort of thing. Like I've been known to flambe. Okay. Of all the people here, I would assume you would be the, the one that I can would, try it. would give it a shot. I've had, um, like for breakfast, 
Scott. Glenn Kerr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you about the rest Just of the Apple day. Apple Jacks. <laughs> no, uh, Grand Marnier. Uh, like mixed berries. I guess it would be flambéed. Yeah, or... on crepes. Yeah, exactly. With Grand Marnier. And mm. I wonder how this would hold up. It's, I mean, obviously the nice thing about that is it's got that really high citrus. Yeah. Mm. No, but you could do like flambéed apples and make like a apple cinnamon kind of. Yeah. We can do something with it. Vanilla. I think you've got a gentleman's presentation. Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there. Yeah. Any, anything to Waiting like, the get wing. through it without drinking it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is not going to get drunk. <laughs> Reduce the alcohol and see what's left. All right, raise your glasses. May all of our children have wealthy parents. Yes. Here, here. Here. Here's to that. Did you just cheers the microphone? Mm-hmm. It's for the audience. That's pretty solid. Yeah. Mine has, you know, a foam condom on it, so I can't do that. When I did that, there was two people in Israel that also cheers <laughs> at the same time. They understand it. And Ohio. <laughs> yeah. There's two people in Israel and like 900 people in Ohio. Cheers to all of you. Thanks for listening. Yeah. If you like what we are doing, please follow or subscribe. Wherever you enjoy podcasts, whether it's in Ohio or France. So you know when we have new episodes released. And tell your friends. Find us on Instagram or Facebook at Mystery Scotch Tasting. And leave us a comment. Always remember to enjoy your scotch responsibly. And please tell your friends.